All right, this is going to be the review of the Mossy Oak Longbeard Elite Turkey Vest. That's the strap version. Now, if you have watched any of my review videos before, I did a video uh, reviewing the Longbeard, which was the Longbeard Elite, but it was the vest style um, and not the strap version. So you can go back there to that one. And that's the one that's a uh, comparison between the uh, Longbeard Elite vest and the Primos, uh, Will Primos signature vest. But this one is gonna be about the strap vest. Now, somebody may be asking, why in the world are we reviewing a turkey vest when it's July about to be August. The answer to that is it's always turkey season, so uh, not literally, but figuratively, I guess. But anyway, give you a little reason why I bought this one. Um, I, number one, I haven't had the strap vest before, and uh, or the strap style of the vest, and then. Uh, my daughter and I just happened to be in Mossy Oak the other day, and I put it on, and as soon as I did, she she and I both said the same thing at the same time. It was like, ooh, it fit very well. But there's a lot of positives, but there's also uh, a few negatives, and we'll talk about both of those. So let's get started with the... Uh, Long bit of elite strap style vest. There have been some changes uh, from when I bought my uh, vest version of this. So, um, but we'll go ahead and get started. So, layout is basically the same as the vest style long bit of elite. And I want to uh, step in and kind of point these out now. Um, let me just put this up here we can see everything and while we talk about that this vest is just fully adjustable and i think that's for some reason and i don't know why it just fit me better than the ones i've looked at in the past they have made some changes um and i'll i'll start with that i guess the original both versions uh had a buckle like this on both sides well now it's just on one side and what that's for is when you're sitting and i'll give you a demonstration of this and you deploy the vest well if you want to get up and move real quick uh, you can reach up here and uh, hook it there and it's I don't have it adjusted, but anyway, it rides on your side. That's not a very good, let me see if I can loosen it here. And you need to loosen it on this side. This is just as we go cut. We'll just let it all the way out. So you can actually it's this buckle that goes to it. It's like that. And you can kind of run a gun with it kind of like that or whatever you, way you want to do it. Uh, I've used it. I used it before on the other vest. I know I keep going back to that one, but that's just what I'm experienced with it. Um, I kind of liked that feature when they came out with it. Uh, and we'll have to adjust that in a minute on the, on the seat. As I go through this, you can tell it's fully adjustable. 
And again, that's what I like about it. Oh. I'm just taking this back up. I'm going to show the back side. And it's going to be kind of a... This is going to be a lot more chaotic than... very raw I don't I don't uh, edit my videos so I used to but I don't I get tired I'm sorry it's really not that hard to put that back in there yeah. don't take that for that it's not good here it is let me see if i can get it over there we go all right we may even be a little out of order pocket layout's good the change that i liked is that the zippers are a lot better the ones on that other vest and like i said i'm gonna keep going back to it the vest the zippers on the on the other vest is just were terrible I mean, I didn't have the thing. I don't know. It was about halfway through the season, or maybe the second season I used it, and the, the zippers were gone. But uh, like I said, if you look at it, we've got two pockets here, which are the same. They're just open pockets. There are holders in there for, I don't know, you probably put strikers in there, not shell holes, even though it kind of looks like shell holes. Um, box call, holder, two pot call, holder, with the holder for the uh, scrubbing pads and stuff. And that's another thing too, that tore loose on the other one. I can't claim that that one won't, but the zippers are the big improvement. This one's for your shells, it'll hold five shells. This is the thermocell holder, I can go ahead and tell you, if you decide to buy one of these, what you need to do is get a knife and cut that mesh out of there. Because that mesh, when you put a thermocell in there, it'll start, it'll make the worst kind of smell uh, so just take a knife and cut that out and you'll love it. I like it. I'm not taking it out and putting it on the ground. I'm going to put it right in there and let it, let it smoke. Uh, the back, back padding still good. It's a layout the same on it. Uh, I don't know if you can see this or not. But two big inner pockets. One on that side. One on this side. Um, I don't care as much as I used to, but you know, you can, if you want to, you got a lot of options as far as pockets go. Uh, straps for the shoulder. Um, really roomy. Game bag and it's lined. So if you want to carry one out, in the bag you can. I like coating them over my shoulder and feeling those, that head bump in the back of my legs. But anyway, uh, that and of course we're in Mossy Oak Regional Bottomland. Nice stitch logo on there. So I paid $119 for it. Uh, I would say probably a little bit more expensive for the for the vest than you can buy other vests for the same price. I just I thought it might be. I mean, you're looking at a good turkey vest now these days. You know, seventy, hundred bucks. So I I guess this is about the right price. The only thing I don't we we can talk about that. I don't particularly like the the seat design 
it it is a to me it's an improvement because it's got the uh, they got a let me turn this around again I show you what I'm talking about so it kind of goes off that style of if you loosen this enough then you can swing it but the idea is that you can swing it back up under you like this or and it's elastic i have not used it for that yet so i can i'd have to go back through and learn how to use that on this but it's elastic here and if you've seen other vests you'll know what i'm talking about to where um that stretches and and you can fold it under you and then you can wear it on your butt as you walk through the woods and you might be able to with this one i just like i said i hadn't played with it enough i don't i don't know i really this vest for me i have a old time vest that i really like i can't remember what i paid for it but as far as minimalist it's a bit it's essential as it's a minimalist vest and there's a review on it too if you want to see it but it's the old time essential. Uh, I don't know if it's essentials, maybe a minimalist or something like that. If you know, you know. Anyway, uh, I like it really more than anything. The only problem is, is I, when it's cold or early season, when you want to carry maybe a few more calls, you really don't have that option uh, with that vest. But. Um, but like I said, I don't care as much as I used to. And really the only reason I bought this vest is because it fits so good. Uh, has really early season camo on it if you believe in, you know, matching your background for the uh, time of the season that we're in. Or if, um, you know, like I said, you want to carry a few more calls than you do later in the season. So it's definitely warmer. A warmer vest I would not wear it in the heat uh, it would just be too hot and it just doesn't take long <clears throat> in the south to really get hot during turkey season so that's one thing I would not uh, do with it because it's got a lot of padding and uh, it can get, I imagine it could get hot really quick so Anyway, I know that was a terrible review, but uh, hey, it's Sunday, and uh, I got bored sitting in the house. So anyway, uh, hope you like this review. Uh, not one of my better ones, as I said, but um, hope y'all enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you next time.